Hey guys, so it's PZS in here. Today I'm going to be doing a 7x7 solve video. Um, something I would like to uh, point out, I am working on a new method of edge pairing, and that is actually the main reason why I'm doing this. I want to see how fast I am getting. Uh, if this is a sub 20 minute solve, which sounds absolutely terrible, but <laughs> you know, but if this is sub 20, um, then this will probably go up without a doubt. However, if it's not a sub 20, I might still upload it. So I don't know. I just want, uh, for the most part, I'm just curious as to what my time is, and I figured I would capture that on camera with you guys. So uh, anyway, this will also be a bit of an interesting video because I got the camera. I I'm I'm experimenting with different angles, and I'm. Hoping that this will work okay, although I might actually go back to my old angles because, well, uh, I don't know. This is just a little uncomfortable. I could loop through the tripod, but uh, this could work though, I guess. Anyhow, I'm still using the same timer. So, there we are. Let's go ahead and flip this around so we can see it. Okay, let's see that. Uh, I might come close to this, so. Okay, let me readjust the cameras a bit. Okay, that ought to do it. So, alright, sorry guys. Uh, I'm gonna start with green again, so.
Alright, there, done. 18 minutes, 45.53 seconds. Yep, I got sub 20, and I don't know if that's to blame the uh, edge parry method I used or what. Um, but I have to say, that is definitely satisfactory. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that I will go in when I edit the video and will explain what I was doing. So, uh, But basically, it's not that different from what you learned in the beginner method of doing like the big cubes. Um, Really, the only difference is you're not reverting the centers. But in, if you do not revert the centers, you also have to be a bit more conscious that, you know, if you screw up um, and move accidentally and end up, you know, miss making like this side vertical while the other ones are horizontal, you can seriously screw up the cube and you practically have to start the centers all over again. So, as long as you don't do that, you can get a slightly faster solve. So, I will link in the description to the tutorial that I learned this from. Um, so yeah, it's really it's it's really not that hard. I started trying to teach it to myself, but I uh, finally just decided to watch an official tutorial on it, and I have to say, it is awesome. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, it is starting to uh, thunder a little outside. I don't know. Kind of sucks. I think when I started this video, it was kind of nice and sunny, getting ready to storm. I think it was getting cloudy, but now it's stormy a little, which sucks. But anyway, 18 minutes, 45.53 seconds. Not bad at all. Uh, so thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Adios.